Whoa. I'm going for it. That gave me a fright. I did not expect that. Wow. What a crazy day. It is pouring out and the wind is strong. And I said, you know what? I'm going for it. Whoa. Oh, hey. Slippery boy, slippery. Gee whiz, my trail is a river. This is crazy. I did not expect this. It's gotta be melt coming from up in the hills. Finding this trail and just uh, making it an even better trail once all of this water finds its resting place and it dries out here. Anyway, I gotta make my way up through this. Getting in here is where it's gonna be really sketchy. That water is deep on the shoreline. Cut through here. Oh, this might work. Whoa, that's deep there, boys. That's deep. Okay, that's where I wanna go. That's where I wanna be. I'm soaked. But I need these things. I need them. I've never used these a day in my life. And I live up north. They're pretty popular for some people. Okay, got one. I think I need both. No, he came off. Okay, let's see. This is not safe, man. I am not going on that right there. I'm asking. I'm asking for trouble. This trail is nuts. And I often lose it at certain points. Oh, do I have a way down onto the lake here? I might. Oh man. Oh man, do I go for it? Now, the worst thing about having spikes on it right now is that I can slip on a rock with the spikes. I think it's thick. Whoa, I'm going for it. I'm on, I'm on the ice. I'm hoping I'm safe trails all the way back to the tent. This wind is really cold. I'm a bit damp from sweat and I just need to focus on getting to the tent. It's a strong wind. Look at this, it's being pulled tight. The winds are like 60 kilometers an hour today. And now we've got hail, snow, it's crazy. Safety. Lots of water, lots of water got in. Wow. Okay.
Lots of steam coming off of me right now. A lot. That's sweat. More than anything. Maybe rain got through that rain jacket because it was just pouring out, man. It still is. It's ridiculous. I just really wanted to challenge myself. That's why I came. I was sitting on the couch knowing this is going to be the last trip before that lake is no longer safe. And uh, I mean, it's, it's day by day now. And I was sitting on my couch and I just thought, don't be a wimp. Get out there, man. Do it. I want this fire to get so hot to start to try to dry everything out. Eventually it'll get so hot it'll dry out that floor. That floor has got a, quite a bit of water on it right now. Just rushing in underneath. The rain's calmed down a bit, which is good. the greatest splitting axe. I just need to get this fire rocking. I got a pretty decent bed of coals there now. Great. This tent is just a wonderful tent and it does such a great job. And I knew that even though I was gonna get soaked and I was potentially gonna have really wet feet coming out um, and that I would be damp and cold. Whoa, deep, deep. That this tent was going to save me. 
it was going to prevent any hypothermia. It was going to keep me nice and cozy and warm. And just knowing I had that at the end of the road, that just uh, pumped me up even more. Like these guys, like I know like Xander and, and uh, well, he's, he's, and Steve Wallace, like these guys, they go out and they camp in some crazy stuff and um, really challenge themselves. And, you know, I, I'd probably like to do some of that stuff too, you know, just go out there and, and like really like get soaking wet and challenge myself and, and test myself for 24, 48 hours. But uh, why would I have this awesome tent? Why would I do that? <laughs> but I guess it would be strictly for the, uh, you know, the struggle, to do it for the struggle. bowls of food because I brought the plates home last time and in my haste today coming out I didn't throw a plate in my bag I know what you're saying Jay you should always have plates at your camp and normally I do but last time I took it back to make sure it got a really good wash and uh, I just forgot it so oh man those potatoes are crazy good mmm I'm eating with the door open to air this place out because 
that that probably smells like the greatest meal of all time for a bear and so I'm just gonna keep this place nice and airy right now I'd eat outside but it's miserable man miserable so lamb oh Mm. Yes. You just can't overdo it. Mm. That is good. It's really nice in here now. It's like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 20 degrees. Yeah, like 65, almost 20 Celsius. Perfect, man. Some sleep with all this crazy wind. I actually think it'll knock me out. Anyway, I'm just gonna watch alone. The Ogrigger is a success. And uh, I just can't think of a better place to watch people suffer than out here at the tent in this crazy, crazy, beautiful weather. So that's it for me, guys. I'm gonna watch this and then I'm gonna go to bed. Wind is relentless tonight. Non stop. Look at this. This is crazy. You gotta push it. You gotta push it to zipper it. The only way.
What an incredible night that was. Wow. I had an amazing night here at the tent. I love when I'm in this tent and it's like crazy windy outside and I'm just nice and cozy in my little corner watching a little a little alone had a rum had some chips chocolate bar and it's just raging out there and it's just this tent is so solid it's like rock solid rock solid amazing but yeah man listen to that it's it's good i like it it's it's interesting it makes it interesting and fun and it's something i'll remember right i'll remember this trip a lot of the trips i had this winter they blend together you know there's a few or I'll, oh yeah that day it was minus 38 39 inside the tent when i showed up that's a, a memorable trip the russian bear tent that's a memorable trip you know i set up that tent with hardly any daylight left and that day it was freezing it was freezing that's a memorable trip this is a memorable trip it's one i'm never gonna forget I walked across sketchy ice and I was, you know, up to my ankles in muck and water and swamp and, it, you know, I had those geese take off right at the beginning there. I was like, what a way to start a day. Summer's really coming and these winds are bringing it. They really are. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back really soon.